Good morning, Ms. Newman. Thank you for meeting with me today. I just wanted to take a few minutes to discuss the conditions of your treatment program so we can look at some of the barriers that you're facing um, and how we can address them. We just want to make sure that we can come up with some options that will help you in the future and so that the magistrate doesn't uh, order you to do your imprisonment sentence. But before we get started, do you have any objection to me taking any notes while you talk today? Okay, great. Um, also, with your permission, could I please share what we discussed today with the court team at a later date? Um, this will help them and also us come up with ways to help you meet your conditions. So what I hear from you is that you're comfortable with me sharing our discussions from today and from the previous discussions that we've had as well. That's great. Um, you won't get into any illegal trouble from what we're talking about um, or any of the reasons for your non-compliance at this stage. Um, but we'll need to formulate a plan going forward to make sure that that doesn't occur in the end. All right, lovely. Okay, so with your first condition, um, so the court had ordered that you attend psychotherapy sessions, and out of those sessions, you were prescribed medications. Um, can I ask why you haven't been filling those prescriptions from the therapist? Okay, so what you're saying is that you don't like how that prescription makes you feel. Um, and you don't think it's really assisting with your DBT at all? All right, yeah, no, I understand that you don't want to continue with the medication if it isn't helpful, um, but maybe in rather than just not filling the prescription at all, could I suggest raising this with your therapist? Um, they might have some other options with that might be more beneficial. Um, it's just that at this stage, the order isn't being followed, and my concern is that that's going to be raised with the magistrate. Yeah, great. That sounds wonderful. All right. So the second condition um, from the court is that you are to attend group therapy sessions. I know that you've been arriving at all of your sessions, but um, it's just been reported that you haven't been staying for their entirety. Do you mind letting me know why that is? Yeah, no, I understand that. They, that certainly would make them difficult to attend. Um, however, I'm afraid the clinic is considering removing you from the program. And if they do that, the court will say that you aren't meeting the requirements of your condition. So it's good that you are finding the sessions helpful up to a, a point. Um, and I'm sorry that the participants there are making you feel secure or welcome. So maybe we could have a discussion with the court team. There might be some other group sessions that you could attend that will be more suitable for you, more beneficial and have a, have a better outcome. And be a better fit. Lovely. Okay, so that third condition then, it requires you that you to live at your mum's house and notify the court team if you are spending any nights away from that residence, even if it is just for one night. And I have been informed that there have been some nights where you have been staying elsewhere with friends. And on the other on also that there's been a few instances of aggression between you and your mum while you're staying there. Do you know what's call it, causing those feelings of aggression? Yeah, so you did mention earlier that the medication you were prescribed were making you feel angry. Were these outbursts at your mum's house, were they before you stopped taking the medication or after? Okay, so potentially a different treatment plan with the therapist may help with those feelings of anger. Um, you still, after those nights away? All right. So your condition doesn't stop you from staying in another location altogether, but you do need to, in advance, put the request in with the core team. Um, so do you know how to do that? I can help you with that. I, I can help you put in that request form. So we can do that today, and that, that way um, you can have those nights away, but you're still following the order. Great. Um, Ultimately, while you're definitely experiencing some difficulties with meeting your conditions and some of the logistics of meeting those conditions, it is really important that you don't just take matters into your own hands. The court team are here to help, so get in contact with them. Um, they can make the changes that will help you out. They may know of some other services that are more suitable, ones that are closer to your place of residence, as I do know, as you mentioned earlier, public transport can be a bit difficult for you at this point in time um, but we just want to make sure that you have the best possible opportunity to follow your treatment plan 
And if the court doesn't see you trying to do everything that you can to meet those conditions, they will unfortunately order you to a term of imprisonment. We just want to avoid that. Great. So is there anything else that I can help you out with while I'm here today? All right. Well, thank you very much for speaking with me. Um, there's my number. Make sure you get in touch if you have any more questions, discuss anything further. There's the court team contact details. They'll be in touch about maybe some of the changes that we can make. Um, and if you are experiencing any other difficulties, please get in touch with them. Lovely. Thank you. Have a good day.